All right, 2019 Volvo Dash Controls. We're going to start on the left. Far left, we have our loading lights. Toggle it down. Notice the green light comes on. Our lights are hot on the back. Turn it off. Just toggle it back up. Come up to the top up here. We have our headlight controls. We're on off. Parking lights. Headlights. Fog lights. Dash brightness. And that's all there is to it. Here on the left side of the steering column, this is our bright light control and our flash to pass. On the left side of the steering column here, this is where our cruise controls are all located. So a simple button push, cruise control is on, indicated by the icon on the dash. Set, cancel, resume toggle our speed here so we just push it up or push it down depending on where we want to set our speed we have a headlight flash push flashes the headlights we have a marker light flash push flashes the marker lights you notice we have a airbag in the middle of the steering wheel so we do not want to ride down the road with our arms covering the airbag we do not want it accidentally taking our fingers off we wanted to keep it if it blows we want to keep our hands from our face left side of the or the right side of the steering column wheel here this is all the controls and the information that's going to pop up so it's indicated by our home screen here notice there's a home screen button and a home button here so we have files over here with truck information vehicle information on the top and all we're going to do is toggle it down so you notice there's a check light on so we'll go in here and we'll see tire monitor just pushed so I know that my sensors on my front steer tires are out I can go to my front dual drive tires and my rear drive tires so whenever you're in one of these screens and you want to go back always go hit the home button it'll bring you back to your main screen so one more time we have truck information over here back to our home screen on this side over here one with the funny looking dots on it this is where the driver is going to set up his home screen we have the option of having three different gauges on there so we would go push one time so we have display speed units and set up home so driver will go to set up home push and he'll be able to toggle through one two or three different icons to set up his home screen when we're all done push the home button and it'll bring us back to where we have it set we have stereo controls here and here city horn air horn this is our jake brake or engine brake and it is all the way up it is in the off position and when you're using cruise control we're going to want it one notch down in the auto position which is indicated right here this is a for auto or we can go manual we have one two three and if we toggle all the way down and let it click back we have maximum braking power here we have our um, windshield wipers so we have a mist and to control the mist we have a dial in the middle so we would just dial it up and our wipers would go at a faster pace or we can bring it down one and two for fast brake releases so on this gauge this um, this button here this is our differential lock and it has a safety on it and safety is push up and push down to release it we just push the button again we have traction control which is on all the time traction control is if one set of duals is spinning 
it's automatically going to put power to the set of duals that is not spinning. We have our fifth wheel slide. Again, it has a safety on it. It's push up and push down. This one here with the truck that's on a hill is what they call hill assist. It is on all the time. It is a three second delay from when you take your foot off the brake to the accelerator to keep the truck from rolling backwards. But if we're pointed downhill or trying to back into a dock, we don't need the brakes locking up on us so we can toggle it one time and we can turn it off. When we're done, toggle it one more time and it will re-engage it. This one here is our fifth wheel unlock and you'll notice that the danger sign is around it but it also has a safety. So we have our landing gear down, we have our airlines put away where they're supposed to be. All we would do is push it up on the safety and hold it down and you will hear the definite click when the fifth wheel is released. And all we do is release it. This one here is what they call an eco roll and it is on all the time. It works with the cruise control. So what this transmission is set up to do with cruise control is go into a neutral state when it does not need the torque or the power. So if we're pointed downhill or we're on a rolling coast, the transmission will actually go into a neutral state, saving fuel and better efficiency. But if the driver chooses not to use it, toggle it one time and turn it off. Toggle it again and turn it back on. So we have our air suspension dump. Again, it has a safety on it. Push it up, push it down, and now we've emptied our airbags. To reinflate our airbags, just push on the button again. So, smart valve, Hadley valve, is one button. It's controlled by pushing one button. You notice that the green light is coming on. All it's doing is over inflating our airbags. So one, if we have a trailer that's dropped too tall or too close to the other one, it gives us the clearance on the landing gear to go ahead and pull that trailer out. It also has a built-in safety. If the truck has forward momentum, it will automatically go back down to ride height. Or the driver can simply hit the button one time and it'll bring it back down to ride height. There is not you you cannot go down the highway with your airbags overinflated. Air conditioning and heating controls all by a dial. It's hot. Cold. Simple clicks. Fan control speeds. Air conditioner, push it on. Green light came on, push it off, turn on. Recycle air, so we could have fresh air from the outside or cabin air from the inside. And again, we have comfort controls here. Coming to this side of the gate, the um, dash panel. So this one here is our sleeper control lights or our cabin lights. And we just push it once, the lights would come on, push it again, lights would go off. Here we have sleeper fan, so we can control the fan speed in the sleeper from up in the in cab up here, but we cannot control the cab fan speeds from the sleeper. So again, it's just a toggle. We have our transmission controls here, with neutral, reverse, drive, and it's a just a simple push button, back to neutral. You notice it has an M for manual, but the, we, there is no way to manually toggle in between the transmission gears. The M for manual is just strictly to lock that gear into place. We will not override the computers. So if we select a gear that's too high a range or too low a range, the computers are going to automatically um, take over and put it in the correct selective gear.